Born into slavery in 1817, John W. Jones would become one of the most prominent historical figures to call Elmira, New York home. It took them a month to walk the 300 miles from their Virginia plantations to Elmira. And that journey was just the beginning of what would be a life of legacy. During the passage of the Fugitive Slave Law in 1850, um, it galvanized the Underground Railroad despite the harsh penalties that the law imposed on sympathizers. Elmira was the last published station between Philadelphia and Canada. Which couldn't have been accomplished without John Jones and the help of his wife, Rachel Swales, taking in groups of six, ten, and sometimes even 30 fugitives at a time. He developed and maintained relationships with railroad personnel for the safe escape of the fugitives. Jones directed over 800 fugitives to Canada, none of which were captured or returned to the South. Around that time, he also worked as a sexton of the Woodlawn Cemetery, where Confederate soldiers were buried. He kept meticulous records of each burial, and of the 2,973 burials, only seven were listed as unknown. With records of the name, rank, company and regiment, grave number, and date of death of nearly everyone in Woodlawn Cemetery. In 1877, the federal government designated Woodlawn as a national cemetery. Jones and his family lived on a farm across from the cemetery. The Southern-style home on 1259 College Ave in Elmira is the only surviving artifact of Jones. And over the years... It changed ownership several times and was last used as a rental property that fell into disrepair and was scheduled for demolition. When a woman by the name of Lucy Brown heard about what was in store for Jones's home, she began protesting its destruction by sitting in front of the building. With the help of Brown and other concerned citizens, the building was saved. We received our charter in 1998 and the John W. Jones Museum was born. And the current board members have plans in the works to commemorate the late abolitionist. We have commissioned a statue of John W. Jones to be installed on the grounds. In another video, Talima discusses other plans to highlight African American history on a local level and how it could bring the community closer together. For Arnett Health, I'm Lexi Cutmore.